In this video, we're going to take a look at mini courses, building out mini courses in Kajabi. But just because we're talking mini courses, that doesn't mean that you'll make mini profits. A mini course, it may only take you a couple of days to build. But if you do it right, these simple courses can and do generate hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. So don't let the name put you off. And I'm going to show you how to build it. But there's no point in me just showing you how to build it if I don't also cover how to sell it. So I'm also going to show you a Kajabi pipeline that's perfect for selling mini courses. Now, if you've not got Kajabi, I do have a link below that gives you a free trial. In fact, you could have your mini course launched and bring it in revenue before the trial ends, before it even costs you a penny. How good's that? Anyway, let's jump over to Kajabi and set up your mini course. So here we are in my Kajabi test account. To create our mini course, if we come down here to products, then here under all products, I'll just select new product. We've now got options. Kajabi gives us a few different styles of courses that you could build, all templated to make it simple. We want mini courses, so I'll click that. I'll click get started. We've got to enter a little bit of information to get started. And of course, you can change this later if you like. Let's say, for example, my mini course is for, let's say it's for people looking to start a business. I'll give it a name. I'll just paste in finding your perfect business idea, a little bit of a description. And as you can see here, this is what's displayed on the product welcome screen. So I'll paste in the description. We need an image and I've already got one ready. So I'll just come down here. I'll click select image, upload a new file, choose file or navigate to the file. Click open, click save. There we go. Then I'll click submit. Kajabi works its magic. And there we go. And Kajabi has already pre-built this outline for you to give you a starting point. This here, this is the chapter header. Now, of course, we could change the name if we wanted. And under, underneath, down here, this is what Kajabi calls the post, which is just another name for, for lessons. And each one of these is an individual lesson. And Kajabi has included five just to give you a start. We can, we can, of course, add more lessons. We can add more chapters and we'll come to this shortly. But first, I want to answer the question, the question I get asked all the time when I'm talking about mini courses. And that is, how many lessons should it have? How long should the course be? To answer that question, and so when you do create your mini course, people are going to want to buy it. There's a few things that we need to keep in mind. I'm going to give you a little bit of the psychology behind a mini course and what makes some sell really well while others just fail because I want you to succeed. Mini courses are short, say one to three hours in duration. But here's the thing. The ones that sell really well, they are focused. They address one, just one problem that your customer is currently having. It's about giving them an instant solution to a current problem. You want to pick the biggest or at least one of the biggest problems your customers currently have and then provide them with a solution to that problem. You give them a quick win. You need to be totally focused on just fixing that one issue, not two or three. You're not trying to give them a total transformation. You're demonstrating you can help by getting them a quick win because everybody likes instant results. In other words, you're building trust. You're proving that you can help by, by helping. And the shorter that you can make the course, the better. The shorter it is, the more chance they've got of implementing it and getting a result, which means there's more chance of them buying from you again. And from your perspective, particularly if you're just getting started, being able to quickly create a course, generate a revenue stream to fund your business and building a list of not just prospects, but actual customers who are willing to buy from you, who you can then remarket to time and time again, that's going to put you in a very positive place. This is why mini courses work so well. Have you ever thought about doing mini courses before? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, once you've decided what topic is going to resonate with your customers, you'll then create your content around that singular topic. As a rule, I'd normally limit my lesson, my lesson duration to a maximum of say 20 minutes. If it's going to be much longer than that, I'd then split that lesson 
into two separate lessons. So assuming you're doing, say, a say a two hour course and the average lesson, let's say it's about 15 minutes, you're going to need about eight lessons, give or take. So before we set this up in Kajabi, if you're getting value from this, give this video a like, maybe even a subscribe. Anyway, let's jump back to Kajabi and take a look at the lessons. OK, so first thing, let's say that I wanted to rename the chapter. I mean, course contents isn't very compelling. So I'll click on it. I can now add a title. In fact, I'll just paste in three steps to the perfect business. I could enter a description, an image, but I'll leave that or we'll be here all day. I'll just hit save category. And there we go. Now here, we've got the individual lessons that Kajabi has added for you to show you what a typical lesson structure looks like. And of course, you can rename and modify these as you wish. And since this is a mini course, it's not going to be hard to work out what to cover. We're only dealing with just one topic and you can normally come up with a, a lesson structure in, say, less than 30 minutes. So if I wanted to add another lesson to this, I'd just come over here and click Add Content. We want new post. I'll give it a title. I'll just paste in research your idea and click create post. The new post is now down here at the bottom of the list. And if I want to move it up, if I just click these two little bars here and then drag it up to, let's say that I want it to appear there. I'll just release and there we go. Now, currently, if you look over here, you can see this in draft mode. So it wouldn't show up in your course just yet. And we'll fix that in a minute. But first, Let's add some content to the lesson. I'm going to come over here and click on the little pencil, edit post. First thing we need to do is upload our video. So I'll come over here to video. I'll select that. I'll select a file and I've already got a video uploaded ready. So I'll click select a recent file. We'll select that video there and then I'll click submit. There's the video. And if I scroll down, I could enter a description for the lesson. And down here, if we add any accompanying files, working files to include, we could also add them here. I'll just scroll back up the page. We could add an image for the lesson if we wanted. You get the idea. But here, under status for this lesson, for this lesson to show up, we need to select publish. So I'll select publish and then click save. And I'll jump back to the course outline. So when you've done setting up your lessons, adding your images, adding any working files, you need to then dress up your course pages. And I'll show you how to do this. And then I'll show you how to turn this into an offer. So to customize the page, the page that your customer sees, we'll hit customize. You can pick a theme for your course if you don't like the default one. If I come over here to pick a theme, you've got all these different options. But I think, I think I'm going to stick with the standard one. So I'll just go back, come down here and then click customize. And here's the main page. You could, you could change the header if you like. You could add a different background image. If you come down here, you could add a picture, your picture, and a little bit of information about yourself. Now, this is the main page. If you want to customize, say, the main individual lesson pages, it's hidden down here. If I just come down here to this little drop down box and then click that and then select post, you can now edit the lessons page. I could change the video player up here. If I select the video and then I come over here and I select simple, I could turn it to the simple player. I'll just turn it back to the inline player. You get the idea. And again, you can add a little image for your bio and a little bit of text. I'll just go back to the course outline page. I want to show you how to set this up as an offer so people can buy it. And then we'll look at how to sell your course. To set the offer here at the top, offers, I'll select that. We can now create a new offer so you can sell it. So I'll come down to add new offer. Give it a title. Now, this is an internal title, so your customers won't see it. So you can call it anything you like. So I'll just paste in my title. The product name is listed there. I could change it if I wanted, but we'll leave it on that. And then we've got pricing. Now, when it comes to pricing, mini courses range from as low as, say, $19 all the way up to $150. The trick, the trick with a mini course when you're pricing it, the sweet spot is that it's that non-considered price point that's going to give you a return. I normally start to experiment between, say, $49 and $89. So we'll put in $89 and hit save. And here's the offer that Kajabi has built. 
Here's the product included in the offer. We could, if we wanted, add another product in here. We could make a bundle if we wanted to do. We could add an image, all kind of things. This offer, just so you understand, this is what appears on the checkout page. And if we come here to the top and then click Edit Checkout, and this is the actual page that the customers will see when they check out, ready for you to customize. You could, if you want, you could add a banner up here, just click it and then click Pick File to replace the banner. You could come down here, you could add some text, a few bullet points, outlining the features, etc. Now, actually, one thing that I want to mention, and this works really well with mini courses, if I just click back, down here where it says order bump, if I click that, I can now add another product with order bumps. What works is normally something that's say little less than the cost of the main product. If I was selling say a mini course for $89, I may do an order bump for say $19. All you do is select the product and I'll just select say, we'll select that one for the purposes of this demonstration. And then for the text, I'll just paste in some text and then click save. And there we go, we've just increased our offer with an order bump. So we've got our course outline sorted, we've created an offer. But now, the big question, what can we do so you can sell it? Well, we're gonna use Kajabi pipelines. Pipelines, funnels, same thing, different name. So, let's jump back to Kajabi and get you set up to sell your course. So, back in Kajabi, let's set up your pipeline. If we come down here to marketing, and then we want pipelines and we want to build a new pipeline. Kajabi has built a few pipelines for you. Now, the best pre-built pipeline to sell a mini course is the sales page OVO. And OVO stands for opt-in value offer. So I'll select that. And here's what Kajabi is going to build for us. We've got an opt-in page. And then once people have opted, they're going to get a series of emails to prime them ready to buy your course. And then we've got the sales page that sells your course. And then lastly, so you can take payment, we've got the checkout page. Simple and very effective. I'll just come down here and click create pipeline. I'll just give it a name, select the offer in question. So that's the business mini course. And then click generate pipeline. Kajabi does its thing. So here's what we've got here at the top. We've got the opt-in page and I'll just click on that. Now there's something that I want to point out about this page and depending on how you want to set this up, this may or may not need changing. How this pipeline is set up at the minute, the customer opts in for your lead magnet. They fill in this form. Then here on the left, you can see that once the form is submitted, they're going to be sent to the next page in the pipeline step, which is the sales page. And it's also going to start the email sequence. And I'm coming to that shortly. But currently, and I'm assuming you're offering some type of lead magnet to attract your prospects. Currently, after they sign up, there's nothing set up to deliver the lead magnet. And secondly, taking a cold audience directly to a sales page, even for a lower priced offer, it ain't going to convert as well as warming them up first with a series of emails, getting them ready to buy your course. So... Let's jump back to Kajabi and fix this. So rather than sending them to the next step in the pipeline, what I'm going to do is change this to download a file. Now there are other options in here, but for this example, we're just going to download a file, which of course is your lead magnet. So I'll just select download a file, pick file, navigate to the file, select the file, open. And now when they submit the form, they're going to get the download automatically. And at the same time, the email sequence is going to start. So let's look at the email sequence. In fact, before we do that, I want the URL to the sales page because we're going to need that later for the emails. We're going to need to know where to send people in order to sign up. So I'm just going to click on the sales page. I'll come down here to the bottom and click details and then click copy URL. So now we've done that, we'll come over to the email sequence. I'll just open the email sequence. And Kajabi has set up eight emails to run over two weeks. Now, for a lower priced offer, two weeks, in my opinion, it's a little bit on the long side. I'd normally run this kind of an offer, say, over a week. I'd send a short email maybe every day for seven or eight days. But these emails, they aren't just placeholders. If I click one, if we come over here and click that, this email under day is set to zero. 
And this means that the minute somebody signs up, this email is going to be sent. If we wanted to send this email, say, to go out on day four, I'd just change this zero to a four. The internal title, now only you see that so you can put in there pretty much whatever you like. And the subject, of course, you're going to want to change that. But here, if we come down here, the body in the email, Kajabi, what they're doing, they're giving you a start. They're laying out the format, giving you the exact instructions of what to include to turn people who just opt in for your lead magnet into customers. And this email format, it works really well. So all you've got to do is customize these emails with your message and insert the sales page link wherever you like. Now, if I just come back. Now, normally, like Kajabi has done here, I like to send a couple of emails first to warm them up before mentioning the product and then giving them the link to buy. Now, one last thing before we go, and I always do this. I'm just going to jump back to the main pipeline. I like to tag people. I like to know where somebody came from in the first place. So if later you want to segment your list, if you've tagged them, you can. So I'll just come down here to this little plus symbol and click that. Under then, I want add a tag. I'll create a new tag. Let's call it mini course and hit enter and then click save. Now, anyone who opts in is going to be tagged with the mini course tag. And then later, if I want to do, I can segment my list at any time I like. Well, there we go. I've really enjoyed making this video and I hope you've got some value and then you've got to put it into practice, creating a profitable course. It isn't hard, it's just a process. I'd love to have your comments and questions. I do enjoy them almost as much as I enjoy creating the videos. So until next time, bye for now.